and welcome back to another First Impressions video. We've had quite a lot of these lately. Uh, this one is going to be something very different from me. Uh, usually you'll catch me talking about FIFA a lot, you'll catch me talking about Avengers and pretty much anything on the PlayStation because the PS4 is my baby. Uh, but today you're doing something a little different and I'm going to be talking my first impressions on Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity on the Nintendo Switch. Um, got a confession to make. Before this year, I wasn't the biggest Nintendo guy. I never have been. Like I said, I've always been a PlayStation boy. Don't get me wrong, I've had, I've had Game Boys to play things like Pokemon and stuff like that. But I don't play many of your classic Nintendo games. They've never really been for me. Um, that changed last year with uh, Zelda Breath of the Wild, which will come as a shock to no one because that game is spectacular. It's brilliant. I, don't get me wrong, I think... But I, I still don't think I rated it the same as some others. Like, to me, it's not this 10 out of 10 classic. Um, it's very close, don't get me wrong, I had a few issues with it, but that's another story for another time. If you want me to do a video on that, let me know in the comments below. Um, but yeah, I, you know, it was still probably one of, if not my favourite game I've played on the Switch so far. So this made me interested in Hyrule Warriors, especially knowing that Age of Calamity is going to be in the same world as Breath of the Wild, obviously taking place before Breath of the Wild. So I had an interest. Um, I've got to be honest, I've never played one of these games before. Um, didn't even know what it was about, didn't even know what type of game it was. For some reason I had it in my head that it was some sort of strategy game or something. I have no idea why. Um, call me stupid and everything on Twitter. Please do, I don't care. Um, but yeah, I so I booted up the demo and as a huge fan of Dynasty Warriors and so what Mushu games, I just call them Dynasty Warriors. Um I was taken aback by how much I love this. Like I, I I cannot stress enough, right? Don't get me wrong, I haven't played a Dynasty Warriors game for a while, I think. By the way, is it Dynasty or Dynasty? I've always said Dynasty, but everyone else says Dynasty. I think I'm the one in the wrong there. So, sorry. But having not played one of those games um, for a very long time, uh, this was a, this was a nice surprise. And this was... Don't get me wrong, it's, it's a bit dumbed down. You know, these games are. But I, I loved it. I, 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 obviously, I've only played... The same demo that everyone else has played. The first, what is it? Two hours, I believe, you get, maybe, not even that. Um, and, you know, just based off that, it was enough to get me excited. Uh, I, I have a few more thoughts on it, other than just, wow, it's like Dynasty Warriors, and I love it. Um, I think the feeling of being a god, this is what I love about these games, right? is you can just turn your brain off and you can just run through it like a god in the field, like in a field of battle. You're just going through, you're just button bashing your way through. You don't even really need to learn the combos. As long as you just know light attack, heavy attack, special attack, you can just run through and absolutely annihilate everyone in your path. And coming off the back of Breath of the Wild where, you know, not only was the combat a bit difficult to learn, but you also had to get very good at it just to look like you stood a chance against these monsters to now be able to take on 50 of those monsters in one go. It just felt so good. I mean, yeah, it's unrealistic. Of course it is, but I, I don't care. I, I just had that much fun with it. Um, it's amazing that I'd gone from like not knowing what this game was all of a week ago to now I'm probably, if we don't get a code for it to review, I will probably be parting with my full 50 pounds for it because that's how much I enjoyed it. Um, outside of that, I want to just talk about the characters you get. You only get access to three characters in the demo, uh, Link, Impa, and Zelda. Um, Link, I felt, was the um, easiest to play with. Like You can learn Link very easy. He's, he's very simple, but also kind of makes him the most enjoyable in a way because, again, going back to that feeling that these type of games give you, of feeling like a god taking out hundreds and hundreds of enemies at one time. I have learned every, well, everything you can do up to that point with Link anyway, um, straight away. And I was just like, yeah, I'm in. Like, I know how to do this. I can already, only after an hour's worth of playing, I can already turn my brain off and just go through and destroy everything. Um, Impa, I'm not sure I'm saying that right. Impa, Impa, yeah. See, not a big fan, don't, don't at me. Um, I thought was actually probably the most exciting of the three, but very difficult to learn. For me personally, I got a bit confused on what her powers actually were and how to use them, but 
the more I the more I used her, the more enjoyable she was. And by the end of it, at first, when I first unlocked her and I just had the choice between Link and, and her, I was just wanting to get back to Link. So I was like, oh, Link's too easy to play with, you know, and I, I don't really want to have to learn too many complex sort of combat styles in a game like this. I just want to button bash my way through it and turn my brain off. But having said that, the more I did use it, the more I was actually like, ah, there's more to this. And it is actually more enjoyable just taking a few minutes to learn her style rather than just Link's more basic style, in my opinion, anyway. Um, and then you get Princess Zelda herself. I thought she's the weakest of three. Maybe that's because I spent the less time with her. It could just be a case same with Impa where I didn't, you know, the more you spend time with her, the more you like her. But I think just using the, uh, the magic abilities, whatever you call them, that Link had in Breath of the Wild. So like, you know, the blue boxes, the blue balls. <laughs> I don't know. Um, you know what I mean? Just using those as her main weapons, I thought was a bit, uh, I know it was good, it was, but it was just felt I'm not really in the action. I'm stood away from the action using different things and I'd rather just be in amongst it, just sort of juggling enemies and stuff like that rather than rolling balls over them and stuff, if you know what I mean. And I thought it was weird playing with Zelda, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> you just always, you never expect to play playing Zelda in a Zelda game, as odd as that sounds. Uh, but then again, you know, these Hyrule Warriors games have been about for a while apparently, so maybe you, maybe you guys are all used to it, but to me it was like a whole new experience. I'm not actually playing with Zelda, this is weird. Um, but yeah, um, other than that, I think, just the look and atmosphere and feel of Breath of the Wild is what excited me the most. Like, as soon as I launched it up, as soon as the game came on my screen, and uh, you just saw, like, just things like the blades of grass and, you know, the, the textures of everything and the buildings and just the art style of it, the character models. I was just like, oh, it's Breath of the Wild! I'm back! Um, and it's the closest feeling I've been able to get to play in, obviously, Breath of the Wild without a sequel. Um, so that excited me. It weren't just that, like the first time you see one of the towers go up, it was like, oh, in the fields. I mean, that game, Breath of, I only played Breath of the Wild, like, started it a year ago, something like that. And I'm already getting nostalgic feeling to it, just playing this. And yeah, everything about it, even the enemies, um, all the enemy types that, again, like I said earlier, I used to have to spend like 10 minutes learning their patterns and stuff to beat them, and now just annihilating. Great. Um, yeah, like just the sound, the visuals, just all of it. It's just, oh, it gives me the Breath of the Wild feels right here. Um, and I'm all up for that. I will say, um, the, the other side of that though, with it feeling so much like Breath of the Wild kind of leads into a few of the negatives. And it's not necessarily the game's fault. It's more, I don't know, my expectations or what I really want. So because it feels so much like Breath of the Wild, which is a positive, that also raises the negatives of, I wish I was just playing Breath of the Wild or Breath of the Wild 2, whenever we get that. Um, I mean, it's probably a good gap, but like a good bridging between the two for now. But um, I think going forward, I, I, I don't know, maybe after hours and hours playing it, I might just be like, oh, I wish I was playing Breath of the Wild. Because you almost forget in a way, like running around, in you know in this world there was more than one occasion where i tried to jump and fly with the paraglider and then realized oh you can jump with the paraglider but only in battle um i kind of realized oh wait no i'm not playing breath of the wild and like when the map opens up straight away you get those feelings of ah oh, it's the breath of the wild map yeah but you can only go to the set battles here there there or you can like add your items to the fire pit or something i don't really know what i did but you can like gift the items you've got to certain things and it just comes up with text on a map and you're not actually going to these places, you're not actually exploring an open world, which is obvious, that was always going to be the case with this style of game. But it, I, it, it doesn't stop me getting those feelings of, damn, I wish I was just playing Breath of the Wild 2 or just going back and playing Breath of the Wild, you know? But having said all that, I'm going to get this game 100% just based off this demo. I had the time of my life playing this. It's the most... It's the most enjoyment I've had playing my Switch this year, without a doubt. I think, I mean, I might get hate for this, I don't know, but I think this year's been really weak for the Switch, for a player like me, anyway. Uh, I, I don't care about Animal Crossing. Don't don't come at me. Um, I don't really... Paper Mario looked all right, but it's, I, it's not the sort of game I'd part, you know, my full money with, I, you know. It's, but this, yeah, this is my... This is going to be my... 
potentially my game of the year for the Switch, just based off this demo. So yeah, those are my first impressions for High War Warriors Age of Calamity. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, if you've enjoyed this, as usual, make sure you like and subscribe. Uh, I will probably be doing more videos on this now, like the more we get on it. Hopefully we'll be able to review it for you and, and all that once it's out. So make sure you subscribe for more on that. If you want us to cover more Nintendo Switch stuff, make sure to let us know in the comments because you want it, we'll deliver it. Uh, outside of that, make sure you check out the website, respawning.co.uk for all the latest news and reviews. You can find us on podcasts by searching Respawning UK on all your podcast providers. Uh, you can also follow us on Twitter, on Facebook, etc, etc. Again, that's Respawning UK. Uh, go check out our other videos, they're great. If you don't mind me saying. <laughs> Thank you for watching, I've been Mikey. I'll catch you next time. Bye.